Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. What we're going to do today is have a play with some stuff, get our hands dirty. Nice people at Ammo have sent us six jars of this, one each of the six different types that they've just recently released. So let's have a play with some of this, see what we can do with it. Okay, so let's uh, let's play with some mud. So what we've got is the uh, the six different types that ammo make. There's dark mud ground. There's turned earth ground. And there's muddy ground. Those are the, what I think of the three dark ones, and the three lighter ones. Light earth ground. I've got dry earth ground and arid dry ground basically going literally from wet to dry um, so what we're going to do they're all acrylic so you can clean everything up with water you can thin them down with water you can uh, mix them with water splash them all around um, so what i'm going to do is keep it simple i'm going to take a sample of each i've got three areas marked out here and basically use an old paintbrush and stick a sample of each in each of them. Um, so I'll just put the dark ones at the top and the lighter ones at the bottom. So let's open this jar up and inside we have two lids it would seem on that one. So I can take that lid off and so look see this is what we get. We can see but it's it is in fact slowly moving around inside there and it's it's a like a liquid um, on the top here so I'll stick some on my finger yeah, it's like a, a liquid slightly I can feel it slightly gritty and you can see it it's pretty thin really so I'll just put that there for a second clean my finger and now let's Let's grab some and just spread some out and see what it covers like. And also see if I can see it forms peaks as well. So I can I can texture this in situ. If I wanted to, I can thin it quite out as well. It's reasonably thin liquid I can flatten this out so what I'll do is I can stick a peak just there and let's see what happens to that as it sets see how the peak goes so what I'll do is and I'll put up some th some of the thin stuff over here and just thin it out a little bit So we've got a peak, we got it a bit thick here, a lot thinner here, see if it self levels at all. So what I'll do now is, I shall grab that, and I will grab a container. Okay, so here's a container with a bit of water in the bottom, not much. So let's just see what happens. Yeah, so yeah, it's it does it is coming off there. So I can just clean everything up with with water by the looks of it. The hair in there. So that's not too bad. So everything cleans up with water. So next, let's just try something else. Let's put some of this in here. Another container just to dollop. Now let's just add a couple of drops. Hmm, when I do that, I, I can feel the, the grit is still there and it lightens up a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to need is 
one of these. Let's just see what happens when I do this. Need to get a bit closer, I think. Yeah, so you can do some nice little splatters with it of various types. So what I'm going to do next is, after a little bit of cleanup, otherwise I'm going to end up absolutely filthy here, I'm going to go through each of the other five, stick a dollop onto each of their squares, do the same as this one, do something with a peak on it, something a bit thicker, something a bit thinner. Um, probably won't do the, bother with the splashes, but stick one on each and then um, we'll have a quick look. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so um, slightly muddier, um, me and the sort of sample areas, but we're back. Basically, yeah, I've put a um, sample of each into each of the six. At the top left, we've got dark mud ground, turned earth, muddy ground, and across the bottom, we've got light earth, dry earth, and arid dry ground. Um, basically light to dark, textures about the same. Um, realize that if you give it a, a bit of a shake before you open it, you get, um, it mixes up a little bit, but it's pretty well mixed anyway. Just, it doesn't seem to set, the grit doesn't seem to settle out much, if at all. Um, easy to move around, just use an old paintbrush, put it around. It does clean up nicely with water. Normally I'd wear gloves, but I just wanted to get a feel of what it actually feels like. Um, mix it with water and you can splatter it easy enough. So what I'll do now, it takes 24 hours to dry completely. So I'm going to cover this over so none of, neither of the cats gets at it overnight. I'll leave it to dry for 24 hours and then I'll take some photographs and I'll be able to compare what it looks like right now with how it looks in 24 hours. So I'll see you back here in 24 hours. Okay, so here we are 24 hours later. Um, same lighting, same everything else. Um, so now you can see everything has dried and looks different. I can see straight away these bottom three are matte. That one looks like it's sort of half in between gloss and matte. These two definitely still have a glossy finish. That's the dark mud and the muddy ground. So those two stay or keep a uh, like a glossy finish, even though they're dry. And the one in the middle there, turned earth, takes on sort of a, a uh, semi-glossy sort of um, appearance. And these bottom three, yeah, they're they're pretty pretty matte. Um, so now I shall do, I'll do something fancy and stick up some images of what these looked like 24 hours ago so you can compare and I'll make a comment on if there's any differences. Okay so here's the dry mud and here you see the wet mud coming in and you can see that when they dry they do darken just a little bit. So now what I'll do I was thinking of what I can do with these and I was thinking sci-fi. So if I get this is the arid dry. If I get a piece of this, and I will, I'm just playing with this, I've not tried this out yet. I'll just put that there like that. Put it back on for a second. This is medium rust. Give it a shake. Here the yellow top metal ball inside it. Since everything's acrylic, I should be able to let's just mess with this. Just put one drop there and see what we get. Okay, let's put another drop. Mix these together. And now with this, it's not fully mixed yet. In fact, it probably end up, I think Mars is actually redder than that so let's mess with this so you can see you can just mix in acrylic paints with these to pretty much make whatever color you want really um just went for something science fiction a mars type thing 
probably needs more red actually but that'll work for that um, so you can see you can mix them with acrylic paints to generate any color you want you could also mix things in with them if you wanted to just get a whole big dollop of this mix in some small stones gravel things like that you could do all that um, it was handy to sort of be able to mix stuff in with it so now what I shall do is what I'm going to do is this is just a piece of old stuff I'm just going to play with this um, so I'll be back in a minute what I'm going to do is just um, just have a play with this and put a couple of different types of mud on it just make a really basic simple diorama um, or a base um, and it will be trust me it'll be really basic <laughs> but it's just a chance to play with play with the mud okay so all I've simply done is put uh, now which one was it the darkest one for a couple of tracks and the turned earth either side and down the middle a rock from the yard a stone just put those in there and then wait for that to dry and we'll see what we get and then from there we can maybe add a few more little bits into it as well so just the final little bit you can see everything has dried it's nice and solid this is what actually 48 hours later but uh, this it's set after 24 hours um, perfectly the rock is in there it's firmly glued in same with the twig I put in yeah they're basically stuck in there hard um, you can see the differences between the two textures or the two colors so all in all it's um, different types of mud you can do loads of different things with it even now to change its colors it's perfectly safe easy to mess around with easy to clean up so it's um, yeah it's really good for, for what it's designed for it's a really good product uh, many thanks to ammo for sending them along for me to play with and make a mess with